Little known fact, although you might already know this if you casually looked me up on the GMC medical register, come on, this guy isn't really a doctor, is he? But I'm an IMG and I studied in Poland. So let's share some tips and tricks, explain how I ended up in the UK, tell you about the mistakes that I made that you could hopefully avoid, and finally, why the hell am I making a video about this? For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike, I'm a GP in Manchester, UK, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, I'm gonna share with you my experience as an IMG coming to the UK, and I'll tell you a little more about TrueLink, who kindly asked me to make this video. TrueLink is an online community supporting IMGs from all over the world and all different specialties. And the idea is to do exactly what we're doing here. So share first-hand experiences, give guidance on registration pathways, exams, link you up to resources that might be useful on your journey. And here's their website. I'm from Canada originally, and I went to medical school in Krakow. And yes, I know you've been there on your mates, Stagdu, and that it was awesome. And I even worked in Poland as a junior doctor for a bit but it didn't feel right and the pay was how can i put this hurtful i think is the right word this coincided with a uk locum agency doing a lecture for us on working in the uk as doctors and they told me i would get paid four times what i was making in poland i later found out that the hospitals were paying them 10 times what i was making in poland but you know agencies got to pay the bills too so i was like eh. Why not? And here's mistake number one. Blindly trusting an agency without doing your own research, which might sometimes involve finding a trailblazer. So someone who has already done what you are aiming to do. Here I am in Manchester, UK, getting emails every day about locum vacancies, applying to every single one and hearing nothing. Not one reply. So I'm calling my agency every day and they're like, yeah, we're still looking, we're still trying. By chance, I met a junior doctor, told her my experience and she's like, Mike, you're not gonna get a job, you have no UK experience. Why don't you come to my hospital and do some unpaid volunteer work? So here's what I did. Rather than calling the hospital, emailing God knows who, secretaries, HR, I literally went up to the general surgical consultant that she was working under and begged him to give me an unpaid clinical fellow job. And he was like, meh, why not? Within minutes, HR sorted out any extra jabs, checks, mandatory training, and I was in. After about two, three weeks of coming in every day and pretending I was interested in general surgery, I asked him for a tick box reference, got it, scanned it, emailed it to my agency, and on that same day, I was commuting to Warrington Hospital to do my first paid locum night shift as a house officer. So here's mistake number two. Poland was not a great place to learn how to work in a hospital, as a doctor. Don't get me wrong, I learned a lot about the Krebs cycle and human embryo organogenesis, but I didn't have the foggiest idea of what a UTI was or how to even treat one. Understand this, the UK has guidelines for everything, and this can be a tremendous source of comfort for IMGs that might come from countries that don't have that. The guidelines are easily accessible and extremely practical. So familiarize yourself with guidelines and that will give you amazing confidence as a doctor. And here's final mistake number three. Although, you know, things always work out well in the end. And this also kind of relates to mistake number one. Do your research before deciding on a place to live. Do not accept the golden handshake they are offering you to work in a place of the country that you would not want to be in 10 years time. And don't accept it just because it's available straight away. First, decide where you want to live for life reasons. Say you love the seaside or mountains or big cities or you hate big cities. And then start looking for jobs. Because firstly, you will end up staying in that place for many many years to come and secondly this is the nhs they always need doctors and you will always find a job anywhere you go so here's a final recap number one don't blindly trust agencies do your own research and preferably find a trailblazer number two learn your guidelines and number three life first work second right that's it guys i hope it was informative if you did find that useful give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can also leave a comment below if you'd like to see more videos like these please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Finally, if you are an IMG, please have a look at TrueLink and check out their other resources and videos. Otherwise, good luck.